everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today we are talking about the first Bachman book, Rage. Okay, so I don't have just the single copy. I'm sorry, them things are going for like six hundred dollars online. I can't I can't do it right now, I'm sorry. Anyways, so this is I don't even have one of the original uh first editions of the Bachman books because those things are so hard to find. Um, but every time I come across one, there's something wrong with it, either on eBay or Logly or whatever, that I just, I, I don't touch it. Either it's got some kind of strange stains on it, or it doesn't have a dust jacket, or the dust jacket is just torn to shreds and you can't tell what it was. Yes, I'm a collector. I want a decent copy that has a full dust jacket. So this is what I have right now. Um, it's getting even harder and harder to find um, copies of the co complete collection of Bachman books because, of course, back after Columbine, King removed Rage from publication, period. I don't know that he'll ever republish it. Um, and there, there's a lot to be said about that. Um, I, I'm angry about it because it is, I feel, one of his best novels or novellas. I'm not actually sure how you categorize most of the Bachman books um, because I know I think Roadwork and uh, Rage come in very very short so they might even be novellas. Anyways, I mean this this book is 681 pages and it has four novels in it. Anyways, so it's like I said it's one of my favorite uh, out of King's entire you know, back catalog, bibliography, what do you want, whatever you want to say. Um, and the reason for that is the, the writing. Um, he, is, he did some of his best writing in this book. Um, I, I, re I didn't relate to the main character as much as I... And it's not even really sympathized with him. It's just that I understood why he... That he was just a messed up individual. And here he was doing this bad thing. Unfortunately, in this country, it is now, I mean, every single week you turn on the television and you see another story like Rage. Um, to me, there needs to be fiction out there that mirrors that, that gives people the, the fictional, fictional side of things as maybe an escape. Um, well, I'm not saying that the book should be seen as, you know, like a fantasy porn or anything like that for, you know, to get your, I don't know, your retribution out by reading it, to feel a sense of vengeance by reading it, because that's not what it's there for. It is there to shine a light on a broken mind that would escalate a situation to murder, um, or mass murder. Um, anywho, so that's how I feel about Rage. Now, how, this, is, this has been a popular question throughout the series. How are you possibly going to tie together the Bachman books with the Dark Tower? Well, it's actually kind of simple for this one. This one ties into the Dark Tower because they mention Harlow, or Old Harlow Road, which is in the body. When we get to different seasons, I will be connecting the body to the Dark Tower series, so remember that for that video. Um, there is also mention later on in some of the other Bachman books of places like Derry. So we will talk about all that stuff when we get there. Um, I will also talk about the importance of being Bachman, the introduction to this book, when I get to the long walk. Because I wanted to discuss specifically why Rage, I, in this video I wanted to discuss specifically why Rage was taken away, why it's my favorite, one of my favorite Stephen King novels, even if I do say it's not a Stephen King novel. Um, there is a clear line between the tonal quality of a Richard Bachman novel and a Stephen King novel, some people will agree that the only thing that is similar between either style is how bad the endings are. But that that's just that's you know, that's just people talking. So until next time, I have been E, you have been you. Oh, and if I missed anything, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Well, that rhyme. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!